have something for you. Uh-huh. It's yeah, it's my little black book. It's got the numbers of all the guys I've dated. Give me the book. <laughs> Pablo Diaz, Brady Smith, huh. guy in van. Oh, my first love. <laughs> oh. What does the red X next to Bob Greenmore's name mean? Dead. <laughs> oh, it's okay. No, he was old. Yeah. <laughs> Jethro Tull a band? <laughs> oh, yes, they are. There's nothing to tell. It's just some guy I work with. Come on. You're going out with the guy. There's got to be something wrong with him. So, does he have a hump, a hump and a hairpiece? <laughs> Wait, does he eat chalk? Just because I don't want her to go through what I went through with Carl. Um... Okay, everybody relax. This is not even a date. Uh, somebody's at the door on the ceiling. <laughs> uh, that's our unbelievably loud upstairs neighbor. Yeah, he took up the carpets and now you can hear everything. Well, why don't you go up there and ask him to just, like, step lightly, please? <laughs> I have, like, five times, but the guy is so charming that I go up there to yell and then I end up apologizing to him. Oh, that is silly. That... <laughs> I'll go up there. I'll tell him to keep it down. All right, be my guest. Good luck. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Phoebe? Guess they're back from their date. Ah. Music. Very nice. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. Number 30. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go back to 29. Not, uh, <clears throat> not to my recollection. <gasps> All right, Danny Arshak, ninth grade. Oh, come on, Rachel, you know the bottle was totally pointing at me. Only because you took up half the circle. <gasps> Listen to you two. <gasps> it's so sad. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be going to the goddess meetings alone. Well, not when they find out you slept with Jason Hurley an hour after he broke up with Monica. <laughs> One hour? Hey, hey babes. How'd it go with Scott last night? Oh, um, it was nice. Took him to a romantic restaurant, ordered champagne. Nice. The guy still won't put out, huh? Nope, zilch, nothing. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, babes. Uh, how come you're watching a rabbi play electric guitar? <laughs> I can't find the remote. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so, Scott asked me to come over for lunch today, and I did. And? And we did. <laughs> All right, Phoebe, way to go. Yay, me. <laughs> so, so how did it happen? Well, I finally took your advice and asked him what was going on. And what did he say? He said that um, he understands how sex can be, like, a very emotional thing for a woman. And he was just afraid that I was going to get all, you know, like, ooh, is he going to call me the next day? And, you know, where is this going? And, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So he said he wanted to hold off until he was prepared to be really serious. Wow. Yeah. So I said, okay, relax, please. You know? <laughs> I mean... Sex can be just about two people right there in the moment. You know, if he wants to see me again, he can call. And if not, that's fine, too. So after a lot of talking, <laughs> I convinced him. <laughs> Let me get this straight. He got you to beg to sleep with him. He got you to say he never has to call you again. And... He got you thinking this is a great idea? Uh-huh. 28. Have you ever allowed a lightning bearer to take your wind? I would have to say no. <laughs> and I would have to say, paha. What? Do you not remember the puppet guy? Yeah, you like totally let him wash his feet in the pool of your inner power. <laughs> and his puppet too. <laughs> We can do it tomorrow night, you guys. It's Valentine's Day. It's perfect. Okay, well, what kind of ritual? Okay, we can, um, we can burn the stuff they gave us. Or? Or? Or we can chant and dance around naked, you know, with sticks. 
Burning's good. Burning's good. Yeah. Okay, so now we need um, sage branches and the sacramental wine. <laughs> All I had is, is, is oregano and a fresca. Um, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> We just start throwing things in. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Barry's letters. Adam Ritter's boxer shorts. Oh, and I have the uh, receipt for my dinner with Nokolulu. Now you will not believe this, but I was in the copy room making copies, and Ralph Lauren came in. Oh my God. Did you talk to him? Yeah, a little. He seems oh. really nice. Good kisser. What? <laughs> what? You kissed him? Totally. <gasps> Phoebe, are you serious? Yeah, I was just in there. He came in, he introduced himself, and then next thing I know, we're make out, you know? Who's the silver fox? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is your make out, buddy. Don't you recognize him? Oh, wait. Ooh, Phoebe, I love you. Kiss me, please. <laughs> Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Sounds like him, though. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, Ralph doesn't look anything like that guy. He's he's young, and he's got long hair and a beard and a hacky sack. Oh, and... my God, Phoebe, that's not Ralph Lauren. That's Kenny the Copy Guy. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh, and I told my boss that someone made out with Ralph Lauren. If she finds out that I lied to her, she is going to hate me even more. Phoebe! Why would the copy guy say that he's Ralph Lauren? To get you to make out with him. Oh. Look, you guys, she's a very nice girl, okay? We had a good time. But I just, I don't see it going anywhere. Yeah, but you always say that. Yeah, maybe if you gave this girl a chance, it would go somewhere. Look, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I just don't think so. Whatever. Fine. <laughs> hey, don't start judging me. Huh? You're the one who's in love with her assistant. Huh? And you, you're the one who's having the affair with the guy who keeps the pigeons on the roof. Phoebe! Secret affair. <laughs> so, um, so what's up? You came to see me yesterday. Oh, yeah, um... All right. I kind of need a divorce. Oh. Okay. How come? Um, actually, I'm getting married again. What? Oh, God, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm straight. <gasps> yeah, I know. I... I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. How can you be straight? I mean, you're, you're so smart and funny, and you throw such great Academy Award parties. You know? <laughs> That's what I kept telling myself, but you just reach a point where you can't live a lie anymore. So, how long have you known? Well, I guess on some level I always knew I was straight, but... I thought I was supposed to be something else, you know? I'm an ice dancer, all my friends are gay, I was just trying to fit in, you know? And, um... And there's actually a, a woman? Her name's Deborah. Well, is she, is she the first that you've been with? Well, I've never told you this, but there were one or two times back in college when I'd get really drunk, go to a straight bar and wake up with a woman next to me. <laughs> but I, I, I told myself it was the liquor, and everyone experiments in college. <laughs> Sure. But now I know I don't have a choice about this. I was born this way. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, you know, you're married to someone for six years and you think you know him. And then one day he says, oh, I'm not gay. Not even say breaking up with Janice. Oh, right, right. Shut up. <laughs> Chandler, nobody likes breaking up with someone. You just gotta do it. No, I know, but it's just so hard, you know? I mean, you're sitting there with her, she has no idea what's happening, and then you finally get up the courage to do it. And there's that horrible, awkward moment when you've handed her the note. And... If, if you want, I'll do it with you. 
Oh, thanks, but I think she'd feel like we're ganging up on her. No, I mean, you break up with Janice, and I'll break up with Tony. Oh, Tony? you break up with Tony? Yeah, I know, he's sweet, but it's just not fun anymore, you know? I don't know if it's me or his hunger strike, or I don't know. Can I get an espresso and a latte over here, please? Oh, we got the proofs back from that photo shoot. You know, the one with the little vegetables. Anyway, they pretty much sucked. So I blew off the rest of the afternoon. I went shopping. And <laughs> I got you. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I got what? you. What? What? Did you get me there? <laughs> I got... What's the matter with Raj? Yeah. That's nothing. It's a little thing. I... I hate that guy. <laughs> Why, so he was a little analytical. That's what he does, you know? Um, come on, he's not that bad. You see, that's where you're wrong. Why would I marry her if I thought on any level that, that she was a lesbian? I don't know. Maybe you wanted your marriage to fail. <laughs> Why? Why would I? Why? 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 <laughs> We're gonna be late, sweetie. Oh, okay. Listen, thanks for everything, Mon. No problem. Listen, guys, it was great seeing you again. Mm. <laughs> Mon, uh, easy on those cookies, okay? Remember, they're just food. They're not love. <laughs> hey, 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 how's it going? Good. Oh, oh, Roger's having a dinner thing, and he wanted me to invite you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going on? Nothing. It's, um, it's just, um, uh, it's Roger, you know. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. There's something about, <clears throat> basically, we just feel that he's, uh... We hate that guy. Oh, we hate him. Um, okay. We're sorry, thieves. We're sorry. What's wrong, sweetie? Nothing, nothing. Oh, no, no, no. What's wrong? Come Okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's nothing. I'm fine. It's just, um... It's my friends. They, they have a lagging problem with you in that uh, they don't. So. Oh, they don't? But, you know, they don't see all the wonderfulness that I see, you know? They don't see all the, all the good stuff and all the sweet stuff. They just, you know, they think you're a little... What? Intense and creepy. Well, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised they feel that way. You're not... See, that's why you're so great. Actually, it's, it's quite, you know, typical behavior when you have this kind of dysfunctional group dynamic. You know, this kind of codependent, emotionally stunted, sitting in your stupid coffee house with your stupid big cups, which I'm sorry, might as well have nipples on them. <laughs> and you're all like, oh, Define me, define me, love me, I need love. A 98. I deducted two points because you're not wearing your chef's hat, and that is a Section 5 violation. Oh, um, look, Larry, honey. Um, I wrote the book on Section 5, and I know that you don't have to wear your hat unless you're in the kitchen. And where is your hat? It's in the kitchen. I'll go get it. Ah, there's the two points. Hey, you should really read that book you wrote. <laughs> wow. You saw the hat in the kitchen, and you knew she'd have to go in there hatless to get it. <laughs> you could have your own, you know, health inspector detective show. Oh. I don't know about that. Yeah, but then I could be your sidekick, Vunda. <laughs> Maybe, uh, Vuna could give me your number and I could ask her to dinner sometime. Okay, she would love that, you know. <laughs> since you know all the clean places to eat. <laughs> I'll, I'll call you. Okay. You look beautiful this evening. <laughs> Show me the badge again. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> Oh, will you mind if I wash up? Because I came straight from work, and who knows where these babies have been. You are just nonstop. <laughs> We're out of here. Wh why? Just walking past the kitchen, I saw ten violations. I am shutting this place down. You have the power to do that? This does. <laughs> 
shut it down. <laughs> okay, and then this is the coffee house. And this is where I play my music. Good deal. Yeah, and these are my friends. People. This is Vince. Vince, the people. Hi. Hey. Vince is a fireman. What? Look, I gotta go. I'm on call tonight. See you Saturday. Okay. <laughs> wow, he's cute, Phoebs. But I thought you just started dating the kindergarten teacher. Oh, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. we're seeing each other tonight. <clears throat> what? Phoebs? Two dates in one day? That's so unlike you. I know, I know. I'm like playing the field, you know? I'm, like juggling two guys and sowing my wild oats, you know? <laughs> You know, this kind of like, you know, oat sewing field playing juggler. And I know I'll never get rich doing it, but I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool knowing that you're making a difference in a kid's life. That is so great. Um, I, I, oh my God. Oh. Oh my Ooh. God. Uh, uh, we better call the fire department. No, no. No, no? Look, we don't, we don't need a fireman. We need like a good mechanic. <laughs> Oh my God, here they come. Look, we gotta get out of here. Whoa, 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 why? Look, if I wanted to see a fireman, I would date one, okay? <laughs> um, that's it, no. Hey, you, J. Crew guy. Yeah, why have you been following me? I mean, all week long, everywhere I look, there's you. You wouldn't return my calls? You sent back my letters? What? One more chance, Ursula, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, well, this is awkward. What? Um, yeah, because you want Ursula and I'm Phoebe. Twin sisters. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, that's great. I'm stalking the wrong woman. I am such a dingus. Uh, you're not a dingus. I just, I want you to know, I didn't used to be like this. Before I met your sister, I was like this normal guy who sold beepers and cellular phones. Well, I mean, look, it's... It's not your fault, you know? I mean, this is just, this is what she does to guys, okay? Just, you seem like a, a really nice guy, and, you know, and just don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Wait, you're right. I know you're right. <laughs> and thanks for being so nice. Here. Oh, thanks a lot. Do you want to get a cup of coffee or? Yeah, okay. Okay. You will never guess who's coming to New York. Mm. Quick, Phoebe, tell us before you can swallow. Oh, okay. Ryan, that guy I went out with who's in the Navy. Mm. You went out with a guy in the Navy? Yeah, I met him when I was um, playing guitar in Washington Square Park. Ryan threw in saltwater taffy because he didn't have any change. Oh. All right. Oh, no, what happened? Well, I just spoke to Carol. Ben's got the chicken pox. Oh, oh you're oh. kidding. Yeah, so if you haven't already had it, chances are you're going to get it. I haven't ever had it. I feel so left out. Oh, look! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, no, no. You know, you have to stay back. I... I have the pox. <laughs> Chicken or small? Chicken. Please, please tell me you have, because, oh, my God, I forgot how cute you are. I'm sorry. I never had them. Oh. Can I please see your face? <sighs> this... <clears throat> Is me. Oh, oh, I am scary! Oh, sorry, the lightning! Oh. Lightning was an unfortunate coincidence. Phoebe, I have spent the last eight months in a steel tube with men. <laughs> Thinking about this moment, I am not gonna let a bunch of itchy spots stand between us. Oh, it's you. I see you everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm Jim, Jim Nelson. Oh, Jim, Jim Nelson. I'm Phoebe, Phoebe Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly have been seeing a lot of each other lately. We have. Maybe we'll be seeing each other at dinner tomorrow night, say around 8 o'clock. Well, maybe we will. Oh! <laughs> Isn't it funny how we kept running into each other? It's as if someone really wants us to be together. Someone does. Me. Oof. Witty banter. Well done. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a masseuse. And I used to work at this place. Do you like to party? 
I, I, I like I like parties. You're wild, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, I guess a little. That ain't no thing. I'm wild too. I'm sorry. I'm staring. It's just that you have the most beautiful eyes. I'm stopping. And your breasts. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Look, uh, you're coming on a little strong. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Because it seems the universe really wants us to be together. So why don't we just start over, okay? And you can just tell me about yourself. All right. Okay. I write erotic novels for children. <laughs> what? They're wildly unpopular. Oh, my God. Oh, also, you might be interested to know that I have a PhD. Wow, you do? Yep, a uh, pretty huge. Right. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Parker. Parker, this. No, 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 wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. Joey, Monica, Ross, Rachel, and I'm sorry, Phoebe didn't mention you. <laughs> Chandler, I'm kidding already, you're my favorite. <laughs> Why don't each of you tell me a little bit about yourselves? Uh, actually, I'm sorry. We, we probably should get going. <laughs> Classic Ross. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, look how you glow. May I? Uh, I think you already are. <laughs> Rachel, you have life growing inside you. Is there anything in this world more miraculous than, ooh, a picture of a dog? Whose is this? <laughs> That's my old dog. He, he passed away years ago. Oh, well, at least you were lucky to have him. Bow wow, old friend. Bow wow. Hey. 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 What a beautiful place. What a great night. I have to tell you, being here with all of you in event room C, <laughs> I feel so lucky. To think of all the good times that have happened here, the birthdays, the proms, the mitzvahs, both bar and bot. <laughs> but none of it will compare with tonight. My God, I don't want to forget this moment. It's like I want to take a mental picture of you all. Click. Look at this plate bouncy thing. What an inspired solution to man's plate dispensing problems. Mm hmm yeah. yeah. Ah, oysters. Let me feed you one. Oh, that's not necessary. Please. No, actually, I don't. I don't eat. I won't quit until you try one. Okay, fine, fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are they like? I've never had one. Why don't you just try one? Nah, they look too weird. My God, what a fantastically well lit hallway. Can I um get you something to drink, like a water and Valium? I must say, you know, this apartment, it's, it's, there are no words. Oh, thank God. It's a haven. Let's, um, why don't we just, um, sit and relax, you know, just be with each other, quietly. Yeah, yeah. that sounds great. Uh -huh. Let's play the game of, <laughs> who can stay quiet the longest? <laughs> or Jenga. Let, let's play this one first. And remember, whoever talks first loses. Yeah. I lose, now Jenga. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <clears throat> is something wrong? Wrong? Really? You know the word wrong? Everything isn't perfect. Everything isn't magical. Everything isn't a glow with the light of a million fairies. They were just brake lights, Parker. Well, excuse me for putting a good spin on a traffic jam. put a good spin on everything. I'm sorry. That's who I am. I'm a positive person. No, I'm a positive person. You are like Santa Claus on Prozac. <laughs> at Disneyland. Getting laid. So, you and Phoebe, huh? How long have you been going out? Over a month. Wow. Maybe, uh, maybe you and I ought to get to know each other a little better. Sure. I'd like that. Yeah. So, uh... What's your name? <laughs> it's Jake. Joey. <laughs> hey, Jake, uh, do you like the Knicks? Yeah, big fan. Me too. There's a game on Tuesday. You want to go? Yeah, that'd be great. Let me make sure I'm not doing anything Tuesday. Um, 
Chandler, Ross. This is Robert. Oh, oh hey. Hey, hi. You have lipstick right here. Oh. Huh. That's okay, it's mine. We just kissed. Oh. <laughs> so isn't it a bit cold out for shorts? Well, I'm from California. Right, right. Sometimes you guys just burst into flame. I'm up. I ain't gotten up now. What is the matter with you? What's going on? Robert's coming out. <laughs> what, what do you mean? He, what, is he gay? No, he... He's coming out of his shorts. <laughs> what? The man is showing brain. Are you sure? Hold on. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. That was a coffee and a... Coffee? Okay. We could write it down for no, you. No, no, that won't be, uh, won't be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, Robert, could you, uh, <laughs> uh, pass me those cookies? Sure. Um, I think you're really, really great. Oh, God. Here we go again. Why does this keep happening to me? Is this something I'm putting out there? Is this my fault? Or am I just nuts? I, 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 I don't know, I don't know what to say. Hey, buddy. This is a family place. Put the mouse back in the house. Come on. Please. Oh. Would you give me a kiss? Okay, I will. But right after, you have to tell me who the hell you are. Ursula. Ursula's fiance. Oh, my God, you're the sister. Yeah. Okay, I just slapped my future sister-in-law's ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Well, is your mother here? Maybe I'd give her a little slap on the butt. My mother killed herself. See, and I knew that, and... <laughs> now I'm sweating. Look, look at me, I'm really sweating. I mean, now I'm saying, look at me, I'm getting even sweatier. I think I should probably just go. No, that's okay. Well, we'll just start over, okay? Hi, I'm Phoebe. Uh, uh, Eric. <laughs> Oh, look at you two. So when did you guys meet? Well, two weeks ago. Two weeks, that's it? <laughs> yeah, I know, it sounds crazy. And it's not like me to do something so impulsive, but she's just so perfect and we have so much in common. Oh, really? We're both teachers. Huh? <laughs> and we were both in the Peace Corps. Peace Corps, really? <laughs> in fact, when we were building houses in Uruguay, we were, we were just two towns apart, and we never met. Yeah. It wasn't a town when I got there, but it was a town when I left. <laughs> um, listen, I don't, think, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the wedding, so I just want to wish you all the luck in the world. I think we'll be okay. So, it's so perfect, and she's been saving herself for me. <laughs> okay, I can't let you do this. She's lying to you. What? She is lying! Of course she was lying. She's not a teacher. There's no such thing as the top secret elementary school for the children of spies. No, you're not, you're not stupid. I'm not smart. I just wanted so much to be impulsive for once, to be romantic. That's good. You should be impulsive and you should be romantic. Just. You did it with the wrong person. What? It's just so weird. Two people look so much alike. So different. Hey! Welcome back. Hey. Should we pick up from where we left off? Oh, I don't know. I'm still pretty tired out from this afternoon. Why? Uh, the sex. What sex? Our sex. We didn't have sex. <laughs> Well, if I didn't have sex with you, I had sex with somebody that looked an awful lot like. Ew, ew, oh, 
no. Ew, oh, ew, no. ew. Oh, oh, ew. No, no, no. You, you, you had sex with Ursula? A, a little bit. So I guess this is it. Yeah. Maybe it's for the best. You smell just like her. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> See this on the menu. Uh, uh, Tim, this is Phoebe. Phoebe, this is Tim, my new sous chef. Oh, so you're Monica's boss? A actually, she's my boss. Sous is, is French for under. Ah, oh, I sous stand. <laughs> hey, Tim, I need a calamari and a Caesar salad. And um, could you give me the pesto? Yeah. Oh, you you made pesto? Yes, I did. Would you say your pesto is the besto? I, I, I don't know, but I, I would say it's pretty good-o. <laughs> I like your necklace. Oh, I made it myself. You are so talented. Well, it's no pesto. <laughs> all right, all right, let's just cut to the chase, okay? You're single, you're single. He gets off work at 11. She'll be waiting for your call. I'll give him your number if I could just get one calamari and one Caesar salad. Hi. Go. Hi. Oh, I'm so glad you called. I feel like it's always me calling you. So, what's up? Is everything okay with Phoebe? It will be in a minute. Listen, Tim, you're a really great guy. It's because I'm with you. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm in a place in my life right now where I, I... Oops. So sorry. This just in. <laughs> oh, it's 911 from the restaurant. It means Monica needs me right away. Oh, oh, no, she doesn't. I know what that is. You can stay. Aww. I'll miss you too, Phoebes. <laughs> I got your page. Is everything okay? Uh, well, th that depends. How are things with Phoebe? Oh, it's great. It's great. Thank you so much for introducing us. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, I'm afraid I got some bad news. <laughs> Phoebe! Monica! <laughs> I'm breaking up with you! What? I'm, I'm breaking up with you. You're fired. Why? I'm sorry. I'm just I'm I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. Yeah, and and I'm sorry too, but well, I just I like things done a certain way and the chemistry's just not right. Ooh, that's good. The chemistry thing for us too. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. Um I I I realize I came on a little little strong, but it, it's only because I think you're so amazing. And uh I, I just want to, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you giving me uh, an opportunity here because I, you're the most talented chef I've ever worked for. Anyway. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hums Wally Pease just asked me out. <laughs> Wait, I thought that guy was married. He is, but he's getting divorced. Ross, maybe you know him. <laughs> it's not a club. a really good time. Me too. Sorry that guy in the subway licked your neck. Oh. No, that's okay. He's a friend. Hey, uh, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but I have these two tickets to the ballroom dancing finals tomorrow night if you want to go. Yeah, I... Well, you know, I, I mean, I missed the, the semifinals, so I think I would just be lost. My ex-wife Whitney is out there. I cannot deal with her right now. That woman is crazy. Okay, I know. Hold on. Hey, Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's Whitney, Kyle's ex-wife out there. Now, do you think you could, you know, divert her so we could slip out? What? No. <laughs> well, okay, but I have two tickets to the ballroom dance finals. All right, I'll do it. Yeah. But just because you're a friend. Okay. <laughs> so, how are things going with Crazy? Has she cooked your rabbit yet? <laughs> Listen, you are hearing one side of the story, okay? At FYI, she must have shown Kyle over 30 paint samples before she painted that room. <laughs> and his response to each one was, I don't give a tiny rat's ass. Yeah, well, maybe she should have spent a little less time decorating and a little more time in the bedroom. Well, I don't think we are gonna have that problem, but maybe that's just because I am not emotionally unavailable. 
You think he's emotionally unavailable? I think he can be. <laughs> well, maybe he wouldn't be if she didn't bring the office home with her every night. Well, excuse her for knowing what she wants to do with her life. Yeah, well, she certainly knew what she was doing New Year's Eve, 1997. I knew you were going to throw that in my face. That was three years ago. She apologized and apologized. What more do you want? We want the last six years back! So do we! So do we! Se vo ne gratite foše ta bulizariu, čo ba bidu, koma lepe mi pečorni. He says that working with you makes this strange city feel like hope. Oh. <laughs> me too. Although this city is my home, so... So that's dumb, what I said. Don't tell him I said that. Um, just... <clears throat> you make something up. Uh... Prokacinki, that you work and just get the... the more coach. Yes, oh... Ah, me too. Nice, thank you. <laughs> this is me, here. Uh, that's good, very good. Yeah, pleasure. Oh, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Your eyes are very pretty. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't care. Oh, my God. The blood is not a piece. He would like to kiss you. Okay. You know, you don't have to do that now. Oh, oh, yeah, Ted, but I get you. No, 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 not him, no, you don't. No, no, you get you. Ah, I want you to be the fruit, and I'm going to eat you. So, uh... Well, the moment's over. Shut up. Hi, everybody, I'm Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. Okay, um... I'm going to play um, some songs about grandparents, okay? <clears throat> well, your mom and your dad said she moved to Peru, but the truth is she died, and someday you will too. La 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 Thank you for coming, everybody. There are cookies in the back. That was great. The kids loved you. <laughs> Yay. I rock. And you know why? Because you told the truth, and nobody ever tells kids the truth. You were incredible. <laughs> but? How did you know there was a but? I sensed these things. It was either but or butter. <laughs> the thing is, I think, you know, some of the parents, they were kind of hoping that you play more songs about, like, barnyard animals. I can do that. Really? Yeah. Because that would be fantastic. Uh Hi, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Okay. You look very pretty today. Thanks, okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. You know, I really want this relationship to move forward. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not moving forward, you know, you're just moving backwards. Now, that's not true. If you're not moving forward, you're just staying still. And staying still is good. Watch this. Phoebe? Yeah. I want you to move in with me. That is so sweet. But don't you think that it's a little too soon? I mean, there's just so much that we don't know about each other. Oh. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Which is why my answer is yes. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Oh, you're so happy. <laughs> I really like waking up with you. I like waking up with you, too. Oh, it's such a beautiful morning. Oh, I could stay here all day. That would be great. We could have breakfast in bed and... Wait, just a second. Okay. Oh! Oh, no. Hi. Um, <clears throat> I want to start with a song that means a lot to me this time of year. It's when it's breezy. Yeah. You don't I agree feel a little That's sneezy, and now, uh, excuse me, excuse me, yeah, noisy boys. <laughs> Is it something that you would like to share with the entire group? No, no, that's, that's okay. 
Well, come on, if it's important enough to discuss while I'm playing, then I assume it's important enough for everyone else to hear. <clears throat> Nothing. I was, I was just saying to my... Could you speak up, please? Sorry. I, w I was just saying to my friend that I thought you were the most beautiful woman that I'd ever seen in, in my life. Um, you are uh, luminous with a kind of a delicate grace. Then uh, that, that, that's when you started yelling. Okay, we're going to take a short break. <laughs> Simulate these conditions. Okay, all right. I have a question then. Yeah. Um, were you planning on kissing me ever? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? This is just really expensive. Okay. And I'll tell you, this was a gift. Okay, so now you're just kind of tidy. Okay, okay. Right? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Uh, <laughs> You want me to actually throw you? You want you want to just hop up? I can hop. Thank you all for being here to witness this blessed event. Who has the rings? Okay. You are my family. <laughs> Phoebe, you are so beautiful. You're so wonderfully weird. I now pronounce you husband and wife.